the an MRI of a 30-year-old footballer uh, with undocumented sight. And uh, in this MRI, um, uh, it's possibly a T2-weighted image and sagittal view. I could see a double PCL sign. Okay. And there is a fusion in the uh, propeller region. Oh, that's okay. Any other, any other positive? There is, buck, uh, there is a buckling of the meniscus also seen interiorly in the interior compartment. Uh, apart, apart from that, there is a fusion in the posterior aspect in the posterior fossa also. Uh, the uh, cordyceps tendon looks of the good length and in, in tension and patellar tendon also seen in good tension. Uh, answer question number two. How would you, the second, may I go to the second question? Yes. Okay. The treatment for this uh, 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 tear is um, to reduce, the, in this young patient is to reduce and try to uh, fix it uh, uh, if it is uh, to, to its margin. <laughs> Uh, using an intra uh, arthroscopic, meniscus, uh, arthroscopic assisted technique with an inside out or all inside technique. Okay. So what are you going to do? I would try to. Uh, uh, I would. I will tr uh, explain the patient the findings uh, according to his symptoms and the MRI. I would uh, book the patient for an arthroscopic procedure. I would take the, uh, take the patient to arthroscopy and uh, with arthroscopic assisted, I will try to flip the, uh, the bucket handle uh, tear of the meniscus back in its place. I will uh, and try to uh, anchor it with the, with the in, all in, inside or inside out technique uh, to its margins. I will assess the rest of the soft tissues in the same procedure. Right. So moving on to next station, um, who is going to answer it now? Let me ask some. Yes, Dr. Uh, Dr. Salman, can you, uh, are you over here or not? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay, so uh, you'll answer the uh, station number three. So, okay. So describe the imaging study. <clears throat> so this is an anterior posterior radiograph uh, of an undocumented patient showing the pelvis and both hip joints and proximal uh, femora of both sides. The most obvious finding in this uh, radiograph is that uh, there is a right-sided uh, uh, dislocation of a to total hip arthroplasty. Good. What else? So both the implants uh, seem to be in their uh, uh, proper fixed position. I can only appreciate a dislocated uh, femoral head from its place. Okay, so uh, what are the different causes of hip, hip dislocation? <clears throat> uh, sir, first the surgical approach can be uh, a major cause. Uh, the posterior surgical approach is notorious for uh, post-op dislocations. And then uh, uh, inability to follow the uh, post-op protocols by the patient. That is a uh, flexion of uh, the hip more than 90 degrees. Yes, that can also finally, cause a... uh, finally, tell me uh, the commonest factors causing hip dislocation. Sir, uh, the uh, dashboard injuries uh, in a uh, uh, road I'm, traffic I'm talking, accident. I'm talking about hip replacement. What are the uh, common sorry, hip dislocation after total hip replacement? The commonest start from the commonest factors. So the commonest uh, commonest cause is uh, uh, basically fa falling on the ground. And uh, no, you're not getting the answer. What are the why does the hip dislocate? What are the various factors affecting no, the hip dislocation? Um, man position uh, the age factor age factor uh, uh, also uh, 
the the abductor tension if the abductors are uh, all right not... it's okay uh, so devise a management plan how are you going to treat this patient so it depends on uh, uh, how long this dislocation has been so uh, first of all i will try to do a closed reduction under the uh, c arm okay. and then we'll assess by that the telescoping that uh, whether there is a um, whether the dislocation is okay or not and then uh, we'll further uh, plan so salman if you closely look at the radiograph uh, can you appreciate the head is also uh, not in place um, it's not on the stem okay. yes sir so i yes. think, i don't think a closed reduction would actually yes. would be a so uh, yes, open reduction so do you want to change your plan open it what are you yes doing? i can i i will change my plan so so what are you going to do now sir i will uh, do an open reduction with the the change of uh, uh, head of femur and the uh, poly liner why do you want to change the poly polyethylene liner sir because uh, it, it can cause uh, infection later on because it has already been uh, exposed to the external environment i don't think that's a valid answer any other any other reason of changing polyethylene liner or is it tabular component because uh, when uh, there is a dislocation okay, it thank can... you uh, thank you time time is over so moving on to okay. next participant uh, let me just pick one from here from the list Okay, Kashif Ali, uh, can you can you listen? Can you hear Kashif Ali? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, Kashi, uh, Kashif, uh, do you want to answer the next? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, let me just mute all and unmute. So, kindly mute your mics, uh, everyone else. Okay, moving on to station four. Kashif, kindly read the scenario and answer the station. A twenty-eight years old laborer with right hip pain since two years. Describe the radiograph and okay. devise a treatment. So this is a radiograph of uh, anterior posterior view of the uh, pelvis with uh, both hip joints and proximal femur. The positive finding I can appreciate. is there is a loss of joint space on the right uh, and uh, there is a sclerosis and uh, there is a, uh, a, a metaphyseal cyst formation and on the left side there is also decrease uh, left side there is also decrease uh, joint space right. so uh, mostly uh, 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 the most likely diagnosis of my uh, is the right uh, uh uh osteo necrosis of the right femur femoral head okay so you have reached um a diagnosis do you want yes, any other investigation to reach this diagnosis or uh, are you sure enough that this is osteo necrosis of the femoral head uh sir for documentation purpose i need an mri so what what else do you want to see on an mri that you cannot see on this radiograph or do you want any other view uh, or a lateral radiograph of this hip uh, yes sir i lateral yes, yes, radiograph also okay and um, so those of you who are uh, joining kindly mute your mics so so that we can have no okay so okay uh, so kashif moving on uh, so devise a management plan for this patient what are you going to sir, how are you going to treat uh sir since the patient is a laborer uh, i will uh, advise uh, i will counsel and advise the patient for arthrodesis uh, uh this hip is going to get enclosed if you don't do anything so why do you want to do an arthrodesis this is auto- sir uh, to uh, in order to you uh, can to relieve the pain to relieve the pain at the cost of movement the patient wants to move his a laborer yes sir so what are you going to do 
sir i will uh, uh, counsel the patient and uh, 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 and provide him the uh, 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 treatment options about th okay, so, uh, and at, it's okay uh, at what angle do you fuse a hip joint what is the sir, best position uh, for a labral for a hip joint to be fused the uh, five degrees flexion and uh, sir five degrees external uh, rotation and uh, yes sir okay thank you so moving on to next uh, meeting time is also running out so next station uh, who is akil ahmed akil can you uh, can you hear akil can you listen to the conversation Welcome, Welcome, Sam. So, okay, uh, let's. Uh, okay, so moving on to station number five. Describe the radiograph. Uh, sir, this is the radiograph uh, of the uh, PA view of the left wrist, uh, probably PA view of the left wrist, AP and uh, lateral view. Uh, sorry, PA and lateral view. Uh, positive findings include uh, uh, SKFO, uh, the, the, there is a gap between the escapoid and uh, lunate with the uh, escapoid fracture. Uh, cellular lines are disrupted and uh, uh, on AP view and on uh, uh, there is a neutral ulnar variant. Uh, on lateral view, sir, uh, there is fracture of the escapoid. Visible uh, of the uh, of the uh, of the base, and uh, while that uh, there is no dislocation. Okay. <clears throat> so, what is your diagnosis? Sir, my diagnosis is uh, uh, escapoid fracture with the uh, escapoid lunate uh, uh, ligament dislocation. Okay. So, how are you going to treat this case? Sir, uh, uh, I, I will uh, counsel the patient uh, regarding the injury and uh, uh, I will do uh, open reduction internal fixation of the uh, skipper sector with uh, uh, Herbert is through uh, and uh, I will reduce the skipper uh, uh, joint and then pass the wire through the, through the skipper unit. Escapoid and lunate bone, and uh, it also depends upon the occupation of the patient, whether he is uh, a laborer or office worker. Uh, but for, for, for till now, my treatment plan is the uh, fixation of the escapoid and uh, reduction of the escapoid lunate space and uh, holding it uh, using uh, K wire. It is a three months old injury. Three months old injury, sir. Yes. Uh, then, sir, if the patient is a laborer, then sir, I will do. Uh, then I will do uh, fusion of the. Uh, patient is not a laborer. Patient is a medical student and wants to become a surgeon one day. Uh, sir, then, then if it is uh, uh, he is uh, uh, he is a student, then sir, I will do uh, proximal row parpectomy. Okay. And uh, okay, thank you, thank you. So, moving on to station number six, uh, who is going to answer station number six? Yes, anyone? Faraj, you have already answered one station, so I can. So, anyone else? Dr. Abbas, Dr. Abbas, are you here or not? Okay, Dr. Lukman. Yes, Dr. Lukman. Yes, sir. 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 जी जल्दी से आकर थ्री मिनट से सर मिस्टर नारायण मैंने मोस्ट पर सर दिस इज एन एक्सट्रे एपी एंड लेटर व्यू ऑफ यस पॉजिटिव फाइंडिंग्स पॉजिटिव फाइंडिंग्स एक्सट्रे एपी व्यू ऑफ द फुट शोइंग फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द कल्केनियस लेटर व्यूज 
Okay, sir, no, go on. Uh, yes, sir, these are the lateral views showing the uh, fracture of the calcaneus. Very good. And uh, <clears throat> both right and left calcaneus. So how would you classify these fractures? Uh, is Do you know any classification by which you classify calcaneus fractures? Uh, sir, uh, Sanders classification. Okay, very good. So it's a CT based classification or a radiograph based classification? Uh, sir, it's a CT classification. Okay. On the... So, what is a radiograph based classification for calcaneal fractures classification? Mm, sir, at the moment. Uh... So, moving on to what are the various views and angles? So, do you know, know any views of how to see a calcaneus on different radiographic views and what are the various angles you need to calculate and what are their normal values and what happens to their values when there is a fracture? Uh, sir, uh, AP and lateral view and uh, Very good. the different angles. Both, uh, most important is the uh, Bohler's angle. And, uh, Very good. Any other um, angle you know? Uh, sir, there is another angle, uh, but uh, at the moment I don't remember. It's okay. So uh, how are you going to treat these cases? What are various treatment options uh, of treating a calcaneous fracture? Uh, sir, uh, we can uh, fix it with, uh, uh, with open reduction internal fixation so that uh, uh, we can uh, increase the, the uh, or to normalize the bowler's angle and uh, we can fix it with the uh, small plate or with uh, k wires oh, anything else any conservative management is also an option in this case or not uh, sir, uh, so when you are asked various treatment options, you should always start with the conservative treatment. I'm not asking right. about fixing, fixing these fractures. I'm asking about what are the, in general, what are the various treatment options? So focus on the question being asked. Okay, so moving on to uh, station number seven. Uh, so this is the last station. I have two minutes remaining in the meeting. Anyone else who is going to answer it? Kindly raise your hand. I can do it. Uh, there is a lot of dis distortion in Akil, uh, your voice. Anyone else? Mohammed Imran, uh, Sindhu. Mohammed Imran, can you, hear? can you hear? Okay. So moving on to station number seven, describe the radiograph, Imran. Imran, can you hear? Okay, anyone else? Mm. I will do it, sir. Dr. Hussain Bilal, okay, mm. do it. Let's start. This is a, AP, uh, this is a radiograph if you of a skeletally, a skeletally unmature patient okay. and undocumented patient showing the uh, fracture of the proximal uh, shaft of humerus with a lytic lesion. Uh, in the proximal shaft of humerus. Very good. Uh, for further comment, I will uh, need uh, further uh, lateral view of uh, lateral view. Okay. What is your differential diagnosis? Uh, sir, uh, it can be uh, 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 UBC, unicameral bone cyst, osteomyelitis, yeah. and uh, uh, ABC, or such sir. Mm -hmm. Don't try to do deviations in the experiment. Sorry, you have to ask it, please. Don't try to use abbreviations in the exam. Okay, okay. Okay, so how will you treat this case? This is a seven year old child <coughs> with a unique amyl bone cyst and a, and a fracture. So, how are you going to treat this case? So, this case can be treated conservatively with the. Uh, Very good. Uh, so meeting time is over and uh, you can log in uh, for the next meeting and we'll discuss all these uh, scenarios indi individually. Okay. Thank you.